My name is Jonathan Keats, and I am an experimental philosopher, largely because I don't know what that job entails. I'm interested in engaging others in the process of thinking about the biggest questions that we possibly can. I am here, however, with a rather specific task, which is to install a camera with a thousand year long exposure. Well, I won't be here a thousand years, so anyone who is, uh, please don't forget to write. Let it begin. Kind of is a little bit ambitious, I realize. Happily, I won't be here in a thousand years if it doesn't work out, so no one can really blame me directly. We'll probably get everything wrong. I think it's going to take 10,000 years of bracketing, maybe more, to get a really good image. Having a camera that provides a perspective of a thousand years, a camera where there will be an exposure in a thousand years, is significant for us as a sort of a feedback loop. Our technology is so forceful that we are able to operate with deep time implications. The generation not yet born is a generation that will be most affected by everything that we do, by every decision that we make, yet they're the most powerless. So deep time has become incredibly relevant to us, even as it has remained effectively unfathomable. So this is a hundred year camera. It doesn't look like it, I know. It looks like a piece of paper, paper yeah. and it is ordinary black paper that will fade in sunlight. So the idea basically is you're going to make it into a box, into a camera by piercing a pinhole through the front. My deep time photography project began with a camera that has a hundred year exposure time. And I put a hundred of these out in Berlin, working in collaboration with locals there. And that effectively is what I'm now bringing to Tempe and will be bringing also to other cities around the world. And now what school is this a part of? This is commissioned by the Emerge Festival but in collaboration with the ASU Art Museum, where I've built a camera that has a thousand year long exposure into the museum infrastructure. So that one is not made out of cardboard, as you might have guessed. After you've made it, you need to hide it somewhere. When you get to be very old, tell a child where you've hidden it, because a child will be responsible in the year 2115 for going and retrieving it and bringing it to the Emerge Festival so it can be opened up and exhibited. Think about putting it indoors rather than out, but then you have the problem of whether that indoors will survive for that long. It really, at some level, is about that leap of faith. All of this can provide a sort of a, a mental prosthesis for people to be able to be in and of the future, even as they are in their own time. You can have this binocular vision, in a sense, this vision from the future looking back at yourself even more than a clock that ticks. A camera is a timekeeping mechanism. Society is operating right now at the pace of the latest camera technology. An iPhone takes a picture, and then another one and another one, and they're all disposable. And I think there's a way in which that relationship with the image and with time informs our relationship with our environment and with our society. So a different sort of a camera might be a different sort of a timekeeping mechanism and might be a pacemaker that is going to allow us to operate sustainably in the world over the very long term.